Hey, this is Wolf from Army Train, and this is video number one for Make It March. Now today, being the 1st of March, is also the first day of autumn, and way back in 1969, on this day, my mum and dad got married, and they're still together, some 52, 53 years later? It's been a while anyway, I think it's 52. And back to the project, the first project is a mosquito repellent stick because it's very hot still at the moment it's 33 degrees today for a threatening storm actually we've got a cyclone forming just up the coast and because it's so hot i'm not out in the workshop during the day i'm out there at night and of course nights when mosquitoes happen so i needed a mosquito repellent stick but it's boring just sticking it in a vice or a jar of sand or something so I decided I needed a mushroom to stick it in. So this just sticks into the mushroom and then it lights up, hopefully. Lights up. Does it light up? Does it not light up? Okay, so it just needs a little bit of effort to light. And then it can sit in the mushroom and smoke and smoke and smoke away. And hopefully the mosquitoes will hate it so much that they'll leave my workshop alone. So anyway, I'll put this mushroom in close to the camera and ask you in the comments to suggest a name for the mushroom. Before I go any further, I need to give a shout out to Mika the Elf, whose channel is just up there, I think, or maybe that side. And it was her suggestion to do more mushroom stuff. So Mika, one mushroom for you. I'll bring it in closer to the camera so everyone can see it. And then I'll show you how I built it. So this is the mushroom. As you can see, it's got a face because, you know, what's the point of having a mushroom if you can't put some features onto it? And this mushroom needs a name. So all name suggestions down in the comments, please. And at the end of the week, all of my monster plants will have names given to them and shout outs to the people who came up with the name. So anyway, this is Wolf from Armory Train saying enjoy what it is that you're about to watch. And death to mosquitoes! Hey, this is Wolf from Armory Train and today I embark on my first video for Make It March. Let's see if in 31 days I can still have a smile on my face or whether I'm in a sobbing heap somewhere. Anyway, I would be out in my workshop today, except for a couple of things. A, it's raining on and off. That's not a big thing. I mean, it's the start of autumn, but it's still 32 degrees, so that's a bit painful. Also, there's lots of mosquitoes out there right now. So that's inspiring today's project of a week of monster plants, starting with a mushroom that's going to hold these mosquito repellent sticks. That's right, these sticks here will be suspended in the top of the mushroom and hopefully keep the mosquitoes away from my workshop so I can go out there and build the rest of my monster plants. Now, being as thrifty as I am, okay, broke, I'm broke. I'm using a mustard lid, a pickle, yeah, mustard pickles lid for, for the base of my mushroom. That gives me a little bit of extra space. And then to weigh it down, I could go out to the workshop and get some lead weights, but see all the reasons beforehand. I have a whole bunch of glass beads. So normally I'd hot glue these glass beads into the base, but the hot glue gun's out there and I'm inside of the air conditioner up there and the fan going right here. So I'm just going to tape these into the base. I'm then going to be 
using this cardboard straw as the center part of the mushroom stem using my really cheap aluminium foil to bulk out the shape of the mushroom. I'm then going to cover it with blue painters tape and then hopefully put a skin of 3D filament over the top of it. Um, just PLA stuff today. And that should give me a nice solid good looking intense stick holder. So bear with me as I set up and watch my journey. Bring on the month of March. Hopefully you can see this okay. Um, I'm definitely going to have to work on my filming area because it's not ideal out here. But so far I've put the weights into the lid and taped it down and taped the straw into the center. What I'm now going to do is grab pieces of aluminium foil. And this is the real cheap nasty stuff. No point using expensive foil for this. Besides, if it's not real soft, you can't shape it as easily. So all I'm going to do now is wrap this around the straw until I've got a decent mushroom shaped stalk and then I might put a face on it and then I'll probably 3D pen over this before doing the cap. So my next step is to roll this onto it until I can shape up a decent mushroom. As you can see, being the easy foil, you can shape it without too much hassle. So I'm gonna add some more pieces to it. And once I've got the right shape, I'm going to tape it down blue and then show you the next step. Okay, I've got the blue tape on it and it looks vaguely mushroom shaped and the incense or well, the mosquito repellent stick sits in the top okay because it's got a straw running right through the middle nice cardboard straw by the way not plastic so now i'm going to put some 3d filament over it pla and hopefully it'll become nice and hard and rigid and once I get to that step, I can start looking at the lid of it and also to put a face on the side. Because I think this one definitely needs a face on it. So wish me luck and let's get on with this. So with the 3D pen, the first thing I'm going to do is go around and firm up the base. And then I'm going to be running up and down the stalk to get a nice coating on there. I'd film it all but I'm left-handed and it's going to just be awkward for you guys to see what I'm doing because of the size of my hands and anyway be back in a minute as you can see I've put a coat of PLA filament over the stalk I then went through and trimmed off any long tags with my clippers before using my wood burning tool with this funky little spade shaped bit on the end of it to smooth down the filament. So I think it's at the stage now where I can put the details onto the shaft, the face and I'm thinking a set of arms. So the arms are once again made out of foil and wrapped in painters tape. So that's going to be the face side because it's the wider side. So I'm thinking about the arms either being crossed in front let me get my fat hand out of the way like that or perhaps being more noticeable up on the hips and then the face here so this is my next step to do Then once I've got that on, I'm going to slap some paint onto it to see how the texture looks. And then I'll start making the lid.